inside there is the view right now outside my window you might also be able to hear the sounds of nature ah, yes isn't that nice so there a lovely scenic way to start off today's show yes we are back together once again everyone is here again once more and we have made it to the end of the week thank goodness for that here we go again it is english addict number 60. <gasps> i can't believe it we have made it all the way to episode 60. And of course, I am coming to you live from the birthplace of the English language, which is England. Hi, everybody. This is Mr. Duncan in England. How are you today? Are you OK? I hope so. Are you feeling happy? Are you happy? I really, really hope so. Here we are again. We have made it all the way to the end of another week. I'm going to think I'm going to look out of my window I am going to appreciate everything I have around me even though at the moment things are a little strange a little weird things are slightly unusual however here we are all together again yes it's Friday <laughs> of course yes mm, mm, mm. <laughs> what <laughs> we have made it to friday thank goodness it is friday it is friday the third of april we are now three days into a new month does it feel like a new month or does it still feel like march personally from my point of view it still feels as if i'm living through march to be honest it doesn't feel much different so I hope you are here. I hope you are OK. Stay comfortable. Stay happy. Stay safe. Keep your distance from other people. Or as I like to say. Just another ordinary day for me, because quite often I like to keep my distance from other people. We went out last night. Yes, we decide we decided to go outside and go shopping. However, However, I'm not going to tell you what I bought. I will not tell you. Instead, I want you to guess what I bought last night. I have my little bag just below me down there. There is a little bag full of things that I bought last night. I wonder if you can guess what is in the bag. I wonder. I wonder if you can do that. So here we go again. Everyone is here together we are all in the same situation but as i always say remember you are not alone don't worry don't feel afraid or lonely there is no need to feel that way because lots of people are around you in the same situation including me we are all facing isolation we are all having to keep our distance from other people as I just mentioned, I went shopping last night. Mr. Steve came with me because he had to drive the car, you see, because <laughs> I don't drive. Well, I can actually get behind the wheel of a car. Unfortunately, I have absolutely no control of the vehicle whatsoever. So that is one of the difficulties from my point of view of driving a car. It is the fact that I can't. I am useless. So Mr. Steve drove me last night. We went to the local shop. It was very quiet, empty. And surprisingly, there was a lot of stock in the shop, a lot of toilet paper, a lot of vegetables, 
there there were there was lots of milk so really there was a lot of everything to be honest in the shops last night so I bought myself some lovely things last night I will be asking you to guess what is in my bag Mr Steve oh. last Saturday Mr Steve went into the local bakery but first he pushed past everyone in the queue he didn't realize it he thought the people were just standing outside in the street so he actually pushed into the queue and went straight in in front of everyone else anyway last night mr steve also did something a little silly he got too close to the sales assistant in the shop that we went to last night i don't know how mr steve didn't notice because there were signs everywhere and also there were there were guides on the floor as well telling people where they can and cannot stand so can you believe it steve got a little bit too close and the lady behind the counter the lady behind the checkout who by the way was wearing a mask so that was another clue <laughs> another clue for mr steve and yet he got very close with his shopping and she said no excuse me no no could you please stand back could you please stand back and I, I i couldn't believe it as if as if steve wasn't aware of what was happening so we all make mistakes i should not pick on mr steve because well when you think about it he has a lot to put up with first of all he has to stay in the house with me can you imagine what it must be like living with me do would would you say living with me would be easy or hard maybe one week maybe when all of this has finished all of this crazy nonsense has ended maybe <laughs> you can come and spend a week with me just to find out what the experience of living with me is like or of course you could you, you could always ask mr steve what it's like <laughs> i think i know what he will say i think he will say i don't recommend it if you are thinking of living with mr duncan i don't recommend it anyway i've had a busy morning besides preparing this live stream i also decided to do some washing because the weather outside is quite nice would you like to have a look outside so there is the view outside the window right now cloudy there is a little bit of sunshine not much but we have some sunshine but the best thing of all is the weather is lovely and warm <gasps> yes and guess what this weekend the weather is going to get even warmer so tomorrow it might be 21 celsius and on sunday it might even be warmer on sunday so i'm looking forward to the weekend because it looks as if the weather is going to be quite nice so this morning i decided to do a little bit of washing <laughs> which of course should be a very easy thing it should be easy it should be a simple thing it sounds like a simple thing mr duncan doing your washing it's easy it's easy however i had a slight problem this morning i put all of the washing into the washing machine unfortunately for some reason the washing machine would not work something strange was happening to the washing machine and i couldn't work out what was going on anyway i remembered that yesterday here we go again mr steve used the washing machine so i started to think maybe mr steve had broken the washing machine because it wouldn't work i was pressing all of the buttons and it kept going beep 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 beep, beep. so i could tell that something was wrong with my washing machine eventually i managed to sort the situation out fortunately i managed to work out what the problem was and i think this is my this is my thought i think mr steve may have locked the washing machine 
because there is a special feature on the washing machine to stop children from playing with it. So I think Steve had actually locked the washing machine. So eventually I did manage to sort it out. However, once again, it really does sound as if I'm picking on Mr. Steve. I'm not, honestly. <laughs> but I think yesterday Mr. Steve accidentally locked the washing machine because it wouldn't work. Anyway, I managed to sort it out. So now my washing is spinning away. It is going round and round and round. My washing is going round and round and round. Can you see it? Can you see my washing going round and round? You can hear the noise of my washing machine. Yes, you can hear the sound. <laughs> it looks like I'm in the washing machine. But I'm not. Don't worry. So that's what I did this morning. How was your morning? Did you have a good morning? How was your morning? Did you wake up this morning with a smile on your face? I hope you did. Every morning when I wake up in my lovely cosy bed, I always have a smile on the front of my head. So I always like to smile in the morning. I open the curtains. I always have a smile and I think about all those people who are suffering at the moment. So I try to make the best of this current situation. I try to look on the positive side of things. At least I can still stand up. Even though I can't go very far from the house, at least I can still stand up and enjoy myself to a certain degree and I hope you are doing the same thing so it's Friday and we have the live chat oh hello to the live chat don't worry I haven't forgotten you I have not forgotten you don't worry hello to Vitas oh my goodness can I say Vitas well done I think Vitas must have a very fast finger I think Vitas has a very fast finger. You are clicking on your mouse very quickly these days. I think maybe you have too much energy, to be honest. So well done, Vitas. You are first on today's live chat. Thank you, Vitas, for joining me today and everyone else who has decided or maybe people who have accidentally clicked on this video. And maybe you are wondering what you are watching. Mr. Duncan, what the hell are you you're doing? What are you doing? What is this? For those who are wondering, my name is Duncan. I teach English on YouTube. I've been doing this for ever such a long time. Do you know how long I've been doing this for on YouTube? Ever such a long time. For ages and ages. Donkey's years. <laughs> Have you ever heard that expression? If you've been doing something for a long time, you can say that you've been doing it for donkey's years. Donkey's years. So if you've been doing something, maybe a job or maybe you've been doing the same thing every day for for many years, you can say that I've been teaching English on YouTube for donkey's years. <laughs> I, I love that expression and we use it quite often in British English. We do, honestly. Hello to Christina. Hello, Bayan. Hello, Cecilia. Cecilia, it's nice to see ya today. Hello, Kishore, Kishore Kumar as well. Grace is here. I'm saying hello to Grace. Hello to you. Hello also, Luis Mendez. A big bonjour to Luis Mendez Trabian for joining me today. And a big merci beaucoup as well. Ooh, Mr. Duncan, you are very 
<laughs> we didn't know you were bi lingual also Beatrice is here hello mr. Duncan happy Friday it is a happy Friday I feel okay not too bad I had a lovely sleep and also last night we went shopping late last night we decided to go to the shops just before they started to close so we went there there were no people there and ooh, I took my lovely bag with me as well and I filled it full of things I wonder if you can guess what I bought what is in Mr Duncan's bag so here is the bag I will show you now so there is my lovely bag I've had this bag for many many years and inside the bag oh ooh, yes oh there are lots of lovely things inside this bag can you hear so that is what I did last night I went shopping I ran around the shop filling up my basket however I didn't panic so I didn't go crazy buying too many things I know a lot of people at the moment are panic buying they are going completely crazy buying too much stuff but I didn't do that so we will have a look in my bag a little bit later on to find out what I bought last night I bet you can't wait to find out <gasps> oh. hello also to Beatrice also long gamer hello long gamer I'm just wondering how long you can game for a lot of people at the moment at home playing their computer games playing their Fortnite and Pac-Man <laughs> do people still play Pac-Man <laughs> if not I am very embarrassed really I'm very embarrassed if, if no one on the planet plays Pac-Man anymore I am going to be so embarrassed and ashamed hello Fedden hello to you as well also hello Mr Duncan from Tehran hello to Tehran I hope I'm pronouncing it right because I believe you have to pronounce the H very harshly so maybe it's Tehran is that good did I pronounce that okay do I get a round of applause for that no obviously not hello also Nyung Quach hello also to Jonah's family hello Jonah's family vlog I believe you used to watch me a long time ago why does your name seem familiar for some reason I seem to know your name I don't know why hello Jonah's family vlog nice to see you here as well hello Beatrice Madzilla or Madzia where are you watching at the moment I am always interested to find out where you are in the world we are all together at the moment sharing a very similar experience so I think at the moment we are all having a unique experience so in my whole life I don't remember this ever happening where we were all at home and many people are not even allowed to step outside their houses so a very strange time of year Unicarina is here nice to see you back as well and thank you also for your lovely comments yesterday very nice hello to Dr Dr triple A Dr. Triple A. Nice to see you here. Hi, this is my first time on your live chat. <gasps> Welcome. Welcome, Dr. A. 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 And I hope you have a nice time here. <laughs> okay, that's enough. Thank you also to Fedden, Flower, Beatrice again, Hiroko. Hello to Hiroko. Also, Emen, hello to you as well. Sergio, hello to Sergio. I know you get very excited when I say hello, so I'm going to say a big hello, hello to Sergio. 
i hope you enjoyed that mr duncan are the books behind you real they look real they look very realistic but no this is just my my pretentious bookcase so you may have noticed as i said yesterday a lot of people now appearing on tv from their homes and quite often they are using web cameras but you will notice that most of the people that appear in front of their web camera will actually be sitting in front of a big bookcase so quite often people will have lots of books behind them so i thought today i would do the same thing <laughs> i did it yesterday as well and a lot of people said we like your background it looks very nice and pleasant so it looks as if i'm locked in a small cupboard full of books so that's the reason why i did that hello also to rohith hello rohith rohith is actually making a guess about my bag so i went shopping last night i bought a few things to keep me going to give me some nice supplies hello top secret my guess is batteries ah oh, now that is a very good guess i like that i did buy some batteries last weekend so last weekend i did actually buy some batteries the local shop fortunately the local shop had some batteries so i had to buy some batteries because a lot of my equipment especially when i go outside with my mobile phone a lot of the equipment that i use to produce the sound and the quality uses batteries yes <laughs> sergio says i would buy a pump shotgun if i were you thank you sergio that sounds like a very good idea i think you are another sergio in fact i feel <laughs> that maybe you <laughs> you are the sergio that used to come on my live streams many many months ago i think so lewis also makes a guess we will have a look a little bit later on at what is in my bag hello edmere hey mr duncan i'm a great fan of yours thank you for your dynamic videos that's very kind of you edmere thank you very much for your lovely comments and messages i've been asked very quickly if i can i've been asked if it would be possible to pronounce these words so i've had a message saying mr duncan can you please pronounce these words so we have here we have loose there sorry i'm pointing in the wrong direction because i'm on the camera loose <laughs> so we have loose and also lose so you can see they are spelt differently by the way we are talking about spelling later on as well we are looking at words that people often spell wrong or wrongly in english so we have lose and loose so you can see these two words have very different pronunciations lose loose lose loose so in this particular word lose means to mislay something something disappears that you had and now you can't find it so we often say lose you lose something the past tense of lose is lost lost so i've lost something you lose something and then we have loose the word loose means something that comes off easily so maybe something that is moving or maybe something that is in danger of maybe breaking or coming off loose maybe you let go of something you loose something maybe you make something less tight you loosen so as an activity you loosen something you might loosen a screw you might have a loose tooth 
so maybe one of your teeth is moving around in your mouth it is loose and very soon if you don't go to the dentist you will lose your teeth or maybe the tooth that is loose so the loose tooth you might lose it soon so there is the difference between those two words lose loose lose loose I hope that was helpful to you and I always welcome your questions and comments don't forget you can always get in touch I have an email address I also have a Facebook page as well and if you want to make a small donation to allow my work to continue forever and ever you can do that as well oh that's nice I've just had a lovely drink of water <laughs> I just drank some water <laughs> unfortunately it went the wrong way in my throat <clears> throat> so excuse me it's okay I'm fine I'm okay I know at the moment every time someone makes a slight noise in their throat like this <clears throat> We think something is wrong or maybe a person might sneeze or maybe cough so if you are walking down the road or maybe you are in a shop and you can hear someone sneezing or coughing these days we often feel a little worried or a little afraid or nervous so yes it's one of the things that is happening at the moment in these very strange times Mr Steve said last night I think many people will look at each other very differently after all of this is over so I think the way we look at other people the way we look at each other the way we take care of our cleanliness I think it will all change a lot in the future I would imagine there will be a lot of people who will become very afraid of being near other people just in case they catch some sort of disease so yes you might have a lot of germaphobes have you ever heard of that germaphobe a germaphobe is a person who is afraid of germs they are always afraid of catching something from other people something that they consider to be unhygienic or unhealthy hello to smart oh <laughs> hello smart smart gives me a very nice compliment hi honey duncan oh honey duncan i like that i could get used to that i really could hi honey duncan you look so beautiful thank you oh my goodness <laughs> so early in the live stream i think i've pulled hello sylvia hello mr. Duncan how are you I always watch your stream in the evening because I have two little children to care for after the afternoon Wow all I can say all of the families who are together at the moment maybe mum dad and the kids are all together in the same house good luck with that that's all I can say hello Noemi hello also to Anna hello to Anna Anna says cows are cool I suppose so I've never really thought of it like that before but I suppose cows are quite cool yes I would say so <laughs> thank you Anna thank you Marina thank you also to Sylvia mr. Duncan I love your fake library yes I do have books unfortunately I can't bring all of my books into the studio because it would take too long so instead I have designed this backdrop so it looks as if I'm standing in a library or maybe a small cupboard with lots of books contained within hello also 
hello top secret again i think we might have some people playing around on today's live stream i have a feeling because there are many people who have nothing to do and it's friday and there's nothing to do well thank you very much for choosing me as a way of passing your time isn't that nice coming up today we are looking at words that people often spell incorrectly words that people often spell wrongly they spell them incorrectly so there are i suppose we might say that there are many instances of commonly misspelt english words and before anyone says mr duncan what do you mean that what does that mean you've spelled it wrong no i didn't spell that wrong that is actually the british english spelling so we say misspelt misspelt so quite often in british english we will say misspelt so commonly misspelt english words and there are quite a few i will look at some briefly so we will have a quick look and then afterwards i'm going to show you a video a lesson all about commonly misspelt words so for example here are some examples of commonly misspelt words <laughs> so at the top here is a word that lots of people tend to get wrong they will spell this word incorrectly quite often and you can see there necessary necessary so there is a word that people often spell wrong by the way i'm not talking about people who learn english as a second language i'm talking about everyone every person including native english speakers so even we often spell words incorrectly necessary another one receive now this is another one that has a very strange rule there is a rule that you must follow and we often say that i before e except after c so quite often i and e will come the other way round so you will have i before e unfortunately there is a rule in english that says i before e except after c so receive the e and the i are the other way round and then there is another word that people often spell incorrectly separate separate or separate so some people can say separate or separate separate a lot of people do spell this incorrectly they put an extra e in the middle and then we have deceive here is another word that people often misspell in the english language and again we have the same rule i before e except after c and then we have another one which sort of breaks the rule of that so you can see there the word weird often is misspelt because people assume that those two letters are the other way around because of the rule of the c so you can see weird is spelt with i and e in the same place in the same place and in the same order so weird is another word that is often misspelt so these are very common words in the english language and quite often people will misspell the words they will misspell them here are some more words and then we will have a look at one of my video lessons amount this is another word that many people often misspell they often put two m's so they will often put a m m instead of just a m so there is only one m in amount acceptable here is another word and you can see you have a c c acceptable 
also we have accelerate accelerate if you speed up if you start to go faster and faster and faster you accelerate accelerate you go faster you speed up fascinate here is another word that people often misspell in english so you can see you have f a s c i n a t e fascinate also acquire acquire if you acquire something it means you get something something is given to you you acquire something so maybe a person gives you a gift you acquire something an item that is given to you you acquire something acquire so there you can see some more words that are often misspelt in the english language we have some more now <laughs> and then definitely we will be looking at the video lesson oh look at this we have oh can you read that one so these all have strange silent letters and because they have silent letters people will often spell these words incorrectly so we have psychiatrist psychiatrist psychologist psychiatric physiotherapist now that one is a hard one a lot of people spell this one incorrectly physiotherapist a person who is a th physiotherapist is a person who uses exercise and movement as a way of making a person well so maybe if you've been involved in an accident you've had an injury and you are starting to learn to walk or move about you will often see a physiotherapist they will use movement as a form of medical treatment and the final one the final one i am getting a message from above someone is sending me a signal it is coming from far away does anyone here have a friend called dave anyone i'm getting a, a message from beyond beyond the unknown yes this word psychic psychic a person who is psychic is a person who believes that they can get in touch with dead people they see dead people and they can talk to them so people who are psychic maybe you are able to read other, other people's minds maybe you are a clairvoyant so this particular word the last one on my list here is psychic psychic psychiatrist psychologist psychiatric physiotherapist psychic and i hope you enjoyed that some interesting words there not only to spell but also to say as well so here we go we are now going to take a look at one of my english lessons and this is a lesson that i made all about the subject that i was just talking about this particular video is all about common spelling mistakes that people make in english English, just like any other language, has its quirks and idiosyncrasies. That is to say, the language is not perfect. Similar sounding words and odd grammatical clauses, not to mention the odd spelling of certain words, can lead to confusion, even for native English speakers. 
today I'm going to look at some commonly used English words that even those speaking English as a first language often get wrong our first commonly misspelt word is necessary the word necessary is one of the most commonly misspelt words in English this is due to the use of single and double letters within the word namely the single C and the double S our second misspelt English word is definitely this is a word that catches many people out mainly due to the sound of the third syllable which sounds like the letter a this leads many people to mistakenly replace the I with an a remember there is no a indefinitely there is definitely no a indefinitely our third misspelt English word is fascination this word catches many people out due to the occurrence of the letter S and C being placed together many people leave out the letter S altogether whilst we are talking about occurrence the word occurrence itself is another English word that is often spelt incorrectly occur has one R and two C's occurred occurring and occurrence have two C's and two R's another commonly misspelt English word is separate it is a common mistake to add an extra E to the word by replacing the middle A again the pronunciation of separate can be misleading especially so in this case as the word can be pronounced in more than one way two things can be apart or separate you can separate two things which means to split or divide separate separate our final misspelt word today is psychology this is a real stinker of a word to spell because it contains not one but two silent letters the P and H are silent another good example of this occurrence is psychiatric at the end of this lesson you will see a list of other commonly misspelled English words how many of them do you get wrong you might be surprised to learn that many people make spelling mistakes even I have been known from time to time to make the occasional faux pas or blunder whilst writing for most of the time it is due to a slip of the finger on the computer keyboard or at least that's my excuse spelling mistakes are nothing to be ashamed of as we all make them from time to time
I hope this lesson has been helpful to you and I hope it has as well <laughs> welcome to English addict and there are lots and lots of words that even native English users often get wrong You know what they say we all make mistakes to err is human to forgive divine isn't that nice so we all make mistakes sometimes I do I know in some of my English lessons sometimes when I write captions in my video lessons I have not very often not all the time but sometimes I do make mistakes with certain words sometimes I make mistakes because I'm not concentrating and I think that is one of the common reasons why people make mistakes especially when they're writing or maybe they are in a hurry and they are writing something down or maybe they are typing on their keyboard in a hurry and they can't wait so sometimes you find that people make mistakes because they are being careless they make a mistake they make an error they make a faux pas oh I like that one faux pas it is actually a French word faux pas you make a false step <laughs> I'm sure Luis Mendez knows all about that one thank you very much for joining me today so there we were talking all about spelling mistakes we are going to talk about something else in a little while yesterday I had a lovely gift come through in my email and I'm going to show you again the beautiful thing that was sent to me yesterday by Mika. Thank you once again for your beautiful craft work. Look at that. Isn't that nice? So that has been made out of rice and also I think a lot of time and effort has been has been spent doing that. So thank you Mika for sending your lovely image to me your lovely piece of craft coming all the way to my little studio in much Wenlock and remember we are classmates Mr Duncan we are all one big English family isn't that nice and remember you are not alone so thank you very much once again Mika for your lovely message and also the way you presented it very beautiful very nice and also something worth thinking of I think so Thank you very much to Valentin. Hi everyone. When I see a cheerful face of Mr. Duncan, I always feel myself a little bit of a psychic. Oh, I see. So normally a psychic person is a person who can sense things that are beyond our understanding. Quite often people who are psychic will say that they can read other people's minds. Or maybe a psychic person can get in touch with the other side. Ooh. I'm not sure if I want to do that. It doesn't sound like much fun to me. Hello, Palmyra. Oh, Palmyra. And also Guadeloupe has joined us. Hello to Guadeloupe. I look like the guy in Las Vegas. <laughs> that was a strange reference. <laughs> I look like the cowboy. In Las Vegas who remembers on the Las Vegas Strip there was a, a casino and there was always a, a cowboy who would be doing this who remembers that <laughs> I'm sure no one remembers that I don't know why that popped in my head but it did another wonderful spontaneous moment of YouTube that we will never we will never remember any of that it is I've, I've forgotten about it already to be honest hello also Sue cat Sue cat welcome to Sue cat I haven't seen you for a very long time I haven't seen you for ages nice to see you back here I hope you are well and happy and I'm happy to see you here as well so yes a psychic is a person who is like a clairvoyant or medium medium so often you will describe a person who can talk to the spirit world. 
I'm getting a message. I'm getting a message. Is there someone here who owns shoes? I personally don't believe that there are psychic people from my own point of view. Oh, yes. Sue Cat. Thank you, Sue Cat. Sue Cat remembers the cowboy in Las Vegas before they demolished it. Did you know that the Las Vegas that, uh, that exists now? So Las Vegas, as it looks now, is not the same Las Vegas as many many years ago because many of the hotels many of the casinos many of the places were actually demolished many many years ago and there used to be a cowboy who was always doing this <laughs> a huge cowboy on the side of a casino and he was doing this i don't know why i remember that very odd i haven't been watching I haven't seen. Oh, you haven't seen me. Come on, Duncan, sort yourself out. Sue Cat says you haven't been. You haven't. <laughs> shall I just go away and come back? <laughs> you haven't seen me, but I've been watching you, Mr. Duncan. Oh, OK. I get a lot of that. I get a lot of people. They come to the back of my house and they watch me in the morning when I'm getting up when I'm doing my exercises in the garden, wearing just my underpants. Sometimes people are looking over the fence and they are watching me. I think they are enjoying the sight. <laughs> Hello, Raber. Hi from Kurdistan. Where is your smile T-shirt? You're right. Yes, I haven't worn my smile T-shirt for a long time. Yes, you are right. I used to wear that all the time. I did. Mr. Duncan, can you tell us what you have in your bag from yesterday? Anna Pika is getting very, very anxious. Anna Pika wants to have a peek, a little look inside my bag. OK, I'm going to bring my bag and I'm going to show you what I bought last night I have lots of lovely things in my bag so first of all uh, here is something you might recognize for those who have a very sweet tooth maybe you will recognize these oh Mr Duncan look Oreos Oreo biscuits, but these are no ordinary Oreos. These are mint Oreos. So these are actually mint flavored Oreos. Hmm. I haven't opened them yet. They are still sealed. I haven't eaten them yet. So don't worry. I haven't I haven't been filling my stomach with rubbish for those who are worried. So some Oreo biscuits mint oreos mint oh very nice there can you see i love oreo biscuits especially with milk so if you want to enjoy your oreo biscuits you can actually have a little bit of milk with them whilst you eat them oh okay a lot of people have said mr duncan i think i know what you've bought a lot of people have said mr duncan i think i know what you have bought i wonder if you really know i wonder here we go then here is the other thing that i bought oh yes i bought a box of jaffa cakes as you know i am a big fan of jaffa cakes i do like them i especially like the smashing orangey bit in the middle. I love the little piece of orange in the middle of a Jaffa cake. And look, look at the price. Can you see the price? Only one pound. Wow. One pound for this box of Jaffa cakes. So I must admit, I think <laughs> I think that these Jaffa cakes are going to keep me very happy over the next 
few hours I think so I might even give one to mr. Steve I might offer one of my Jaffa cakes to mr. Steve who knows maybe maybe not oh something else I saw yesterday and I decided to buy them I'm going to try one right now these are also Jaffa cakes but look they are different they are not the same so these particular Jaffa cakes are actually not orange they are pineapple now normally I don't like pineapple I'm not a big fan of the flavor or the taste of pineapples however today I have my Jaffa cakes so I have my normal Jaffa cakes here they are so those are my normal Jaffa cakes <laughs> and these are a new version of Jaffa cakes so look I have two boxes so I have my traditional orange ones and these these are these are pineapple Jaffa cakes so I have two boxes of Jaffa cakes so now I'm going to try one of the pineapple flavors so this is the pineapple Jaffa cake I don't know what it tastes like it might be delicious it might actually be horrible we will find out right now by the way it's just gone three o'clock here in the UK just after three o'clock don't forget to give me a lovely like and also subscribe as well if you want to give me a like give me a big thumbs up beep, 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 and say how much you enjoy my live lessons so Jaffa cakes this particular one is flavored with pineapple so I'm going to try one to see how they taste whether they taste all right if I can get into the packet mm. oh they smell quite nice so there they are for those wondering so there is my packet of Jaffa cakes you can see there are 10 in the package so let's try one shall we let's try one of these new Jaffa cakes mm. let's see shall we I wonder what they taste like so these are not orange these are actually pineapple I wonder what they taste like I'm going to try one now oh they smell different so mm, they have a very different smell okay here we go so I'm going to try I'm going to have a little nibble just a little nibble of this Jaffa cake I must be honest with you I have to be honest they are not as nice as the orange ones I think I prefer the orange ones they have a slightly strange taste to be honest mm. <laughs> I'm not going to say that I like them I think I prefer I'm covered in chocolate now I think I prefer the orange ones I think the orange ones are much nicer mm. <laughs> mm. Ooh, quite nice however <gasps> look there is still something left in my bag oh now these or something I saw last night in the supermarket when I was walking around Jaffa cakes again but these are special types of Jaffa cake so these particular Jaffa cakes are small they are small and round so I'm going to have a look at one of these now to see what they are like because I've never tried them before so these are called Jaffa cake nibbles can you see the word there so there is the word nibble nibbles so if you nibble it means you eat something very slowly and very carefully you take little tiny pieces as you eat 
a little bit like a mouse have you ever seen a mouse eating food they will nibble <laughs> nibble so you take tiny little bites out of food we call it nibbling you have a little nibble so you are biting something that is small and that's the reason why these jaffa cakes are called jaffa cakes nibbles nibbles i'm going to try one of these i've never tried these before i saw them last night in the shop and i couldn't resist trying them so here we go i'm sure a lot of people will be horrified to see me doing this they will say mr duncan mr duncan last year you were on a diet and now here you are eating junk food you'll be pleased to hear that i do get a lot of exercise i do a lot of exercise in the garden in the morning i get up very early i go into my garden and i do some some press-ups i do some presses I, I do some jogging i lie on my back and i lift my legs in the air to stretch my muscles so that's what i do here we go then Oh, very interesting it's very small so this is a little bit like a jaffa cake however it is not exactly the same as a jaffa cake i'm going to try it see if it's all right it might not be it might be disgusting hmm 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 oh i have to be honest Oh, these are quite nice. I like these. I don't really like these. I will give these to Mr. Steve because I think Steve likes pineapple. However, I'm keeping these for myself. Mr. Steve is having none of these. I think so. Thank you for your company today. I will be going in around about 20 minutes. I hope you've enjoyed today's live stream. We are talking about something else. Christina. <laughs> thank you, Christina. Mr. Duncan, you are so greedy. I'm not greedy. I don't think I'm greedy. All I've done is I've bought some biscuits. I won't eat them all today. So those will last me now until the middle of next week. So I have about five, maybe five days of biscuits. So I'm not going to eat all these straight away. However, I do like Oreo biscuits and as you know, I do like Jaffa cakes. So there you go. <laughs> all, all I all I need now is for Jaffa cakes, the people who make Jaffa cakes to actually sponsor me. That would be nice, wouldn't it? <laughs> How long have you been here, Lewis? I I mean, a big fan of Mr. Duncan. Oh, I, I, Luis Mendez has been watching me for a long time. I know he has. He's been around watching me for quite a while. Ahmed. Hello, Ahmed. I want to know when isolation is ending because I've got so bored from staying at home over two months. Thank you, Ahmed. Well, I suppose the, the best answer to that question is no one really knows no one knows a lot of people are, are making guesses they are guessing but they don't really know to be honest they have no idea when this is all going to end it might be two months it might be three more months it might be six more months who knows even though i am trying to to look on the positive side of what is happening at the moment. I'm trying to look on the positive side. I'm trying to make the best of a bad deal. I'm trying to look at some positive things, some positive things that I can do during this strange time. So sometimes it is good to make the best of a bad deal every cloud has a silver lining sometimes things seem bad however in the future there might be something that could be positive or maybe a good thing perhaps during your isolation time you can spend some time learning a new hobby or a new skill or perhaps you can get in touch with someone 
you've never met before or maybe someone you haven't spoken to for a long time always look on the bright side that's what I say always look on the bright side of life always try to do that whenever you can and my favorite of course I love this one there is light at the end of the tunnel look on the bright side because because in the distance there is light at the end of the tunnel there is light at the end of the tunnel however bad things seem you can reassure yourself by saying that there is always light at the end of the tunnel <laughs> sue cat says mr duncan you are like a little kid when you go to the supermarket i used to buy many sweet things but since january i've been dieting and doing exercise so no sugar for me i have already lost 10 kilos 10 kilograms that is amazing congratulations sue cat i have to say that is incredible congratulations on your diet and also your weight loss as well amazing I would like to show my admiration for you for doing that because it takes a lot of determination a lot of willpower to lose weight so last year I did have a diet last year and I did actually lose some weight so now I am doing more than one thing to keep myself healthy so I'm eating things sometimes that might appear to be unhealthy however I'm doing other things that will help me to stay healthy so sometimes you can have something nice to eat sometimes a little bit of what you fancy can do you good but always make sure you don't eat too much and I think that is it everything in moderation moderation hello to Anna Pika has Steve seen the Jaffa cakes he did see them and he was very disappointed very disappointed <laughs> again hello gamer hello gamer roblox roblox i've never tried to play with roblox but i know they are very popular at the moment i hope you will get two million subscribers soon i don't know <laughs> i don't even have <laughs> i don't have a, a million subscribers yet so I, I think it will be many years before i get two million i may i may no longer be alive when that happens hello i will thank you dear teacher how can i speak english fluently i think one of the most common questions that i'm asked by people who are learning english how can i do it well learning English is like anything it takes time patience you have to have a lot of motivation to do it so learning is not an easy thing to do whatever it is you are learning whatever you are learning <clears throat> it takes a lot of time and effort <clears throat> I'm losing my voice I've been talking so much over the past few days hello to Guadeloupe you look very healthy Mr Duncan thanks a lot well I always try to take care of myself I always try to stay fit and healthy I suppose I suppose Mr Steve is healthier than I am but at least I'm not unhealthy so that's the good thing hello Cory hello Cory hello Anna hello also to Unicarina again yes I think it's great if you can lose weight I think one of the hardest things to do is lose weight so you need a lot of motivation you need a lot of willpower I like it very much talking of food <laughs> oh dear <laughs> we are now going to take a look at an excerpt from one of my full English lessons <laughs> and can you believe it in this full English lesson I will be talking all about another type of food that I like very much.
If you are a regular viewer, then you will know that I love food. Can you guess what my most favourite snack is? The thing I like to nibble on the most? The one food I often get a craving for? OK, I will tell you. My most favourite snack is... Cheese! Yes, it is true. I love to nibble on cheese. There are many reasons why I love cheese. Firstly, there are so many varieties, so many flavours of cheese, from mild to extra mature. Cheeses can vary in shape and colour too. Some are round and white, while others can be square and red. Some cheeses have a strong odour. <laughs> Cheese is made from the milk of a cow or goat. Each type of cheese has its own name. This name normally relates to where it was originally produced. For example, cheddar cheese was first made in Cheddar, Somerset, which is in the UK. Red Leicester cheese was first made in Leicestershire and is red in colour. One of the smelliest cheeses must be the variety known as Stinking Bishop. This cheese is also produced here in the UK, in the county of Gloucestershire. Each country has its own famous cheese. France has its Camembert cheese. Greece has its feta cheese, which is made from goat's milk. Italy has its Parmesan cheese, which is normally grated and sprinkled onto pasta. Or you could try some mozzarella cheese, which is used to make pizza topping. There are many hundreds of varieties of cheese around the world, all of which I would love to try. But sadly, I cannot, as I would put on weight and get very, very fat. When people take photographs of their friends and family, they normally ask the subjects to say cheese, as it encourages everyone being photographed to smile. Cheese! I must say, all this talk of cheese is making me feel quite hungry. All I can say is today's live stream is becoming quite unhealthy. <laughs> All we are talking about today is food, chocolate and cheese. Two of my most favourite foods. It's a beautiful day and I hope you have a smile on your face outside. Everything is looking really nice. So there is the view outside. Would you like to hear the sounds of nature? So here I have a microphone outside my window right now. Can you hear the sounds of nature? The birds are all happy. The weather is quite nice. Everything in the world is not too bad. I hope you are feeling OK where you are. I hope you are healthy and happy today. And I'm bringing a little bit of English air into your afternoon or maybe morning or maybe it's already early tomorrow morning. Who knows? It might be tomorrow already where you are. Hmm. Very nice. So that's the weather today. I hope where you are, everything is nice and sunny as well. In business, 
when we are talking business business english is a very big subject and i thought today we would talk about something very briefly i have some words to show you all about finalizing so whenever you are doing anything especially in business if you are running a business or maybe you are making plans for the future to do something different quite often you will have to finalize your plans finalize so we're going to have a look at some of the words that might be connected with this particular subject so let's have a look at the first word well that's the word i just mentioned finalize if you finalize something it means you do it as a means of concluding you are finishing the thing that you are doing you finalize it maybe a contract that you have to sign maybe you have to come up with some sort of agreement as well an agreement between two people you finalize something you bring something to a conclusion quite often when you finalize something quite often you will have to agree as well so you will find that agreeing is part of finalizing you finalize something by making an agreement quite often you will have to sign some sort of contract so maybe in business two people have to agree on something before they can finalize what it is they are planning to do tie up oh i like this word tie up you can tie up something by making agreements or maybe you come to the end of your plan and you have everything ready you tie up everything you make everything come to a conclusion or you end something to bring something to an end is also tie up the police might tie up an investigation so they tie it up if you tie something up you bring it to an end you have got your solution you have a solution you conclude so maybe you conclude your plans or maybe you conclude your discussion you conclude you bring things to an end you finalize the thing you are doing so quite often in business you will conclude your meeting you will conclude your conversation so maybe you are meeting someone to discuss plans you will conclude and maybe later you will meet again to finalize all of the things you've been talking about consent is often a word we use in business english you consent consent if you consent to something you come to an agreement you allow something to happen you consent to something also settle as well here is a word that is often used in law so quite often in law you will use this word settle you might have to come to some sort of agreement with another person so maybe you have a disagreement so you have to agree you have to finalize what it is you are disagreeing about settle settle so settle you might use the word settle when you are finalizing something confirm again you confirm something maybe you make an agreement and the other person says okay that's a good idea you confirm your agreement you make sure the other person knows that you agree or of course you might confirm <laughs> your disagreement so maybe you confirm that you are unhappy with something confirm you make sure the other person is aware you make sure they know what is going on straighten out to straighten out something is to solve a problem so maybe you you straighten out an argument between two people or maybe there is a misunderstanding between two people you try to 
sort it out you try to finalize the argument so everyone is happy you try to straighten it out straighten out you have a misunderstanding a disagreement so you try to straighten it out you try to make some sort of agreement finish off finish off is to end conclude you finish off maybe you finish off your contract you come to a conclusion you finish off what it is you are planning you end it you conclude here's a good one I like this word now this is an interesting word because sometimes this particular word here can be pronounced in different ways so in this particular way we are pronouncing this wind 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 up to bring something to a close or an end you finalize something you wind up something so maybe you bring your meeting to an end so maybe you are meeting with lots of people and then you will end the meeting you will have a final discussion and then you will wind up so you may wind up your meeting end so when we say wind up we mean in this particular situation we mean end you bring something to a close of course you can also pronounce this word wind as well so this word can be pronounced as wind or wind two different pronunciations there two different ways of saying that word and of course it has different meanings as well approve oh I love it when someone approves it means that they agree or they give their blessing or maybe they say you are okay you can do that you can go ahead and do it perhaps you want to borrow some money from your bank maybe your bank <laughs> is <laughs> is not giving you any money so you have to borrow some come on bank I need to borrow some money from you so then you ask the bank if you can borrow some money and they say yes they approve your loan approve so they say yes okay they agree they decide that they can finalize your loan because they are going to allow you to have it approve I like that word oh this is a phrase have a look at this phrase you may have heard this phrase before rubber stamp if you rubber stamp something it means you give approval for that thing to begin rubber stamp so quite often in politics if they are going to spend a lot of money on a certain thing we will often rubber stamp so you will say that that thing can go ahead you finalize all of the plans and then someone will say yes you can do it you can go ahead we call it rubber stamp so you will rubber stamp something you will say that that has been approved it has been cleared you can go ahead and do it authorize is another word we often use authorize you will allow a person to do something maybe a person who has a lot of authority so if you are a manager maybe you can authorize something a person comes to you with a good idea so you decide yes I think that's a very good idea I will authorize that thing I will say that that can happen it is a type of finalizing you are finalizing the request you can give the okay give the okay give the okay I like that one you can give the okay to someone it means you allow them to do it something is done and dusted something is done and dusted what does that mean if something is done and dusted 
it means you can go ahead with it you can say that is done we have finished it is over we have finished talking about that thing it has been finalized it has been done and dusted done and dusted a couple of more you can give the go ahead to someone you give the go ahead you are allowed to do something you give the go ahead something very strange is happening in front of me by the way on my phone I don't know what is happening but something very strange is going on <laughs> on my mobile phone very distracting you give the go ahead you say yes you can go ahead you can do it no problem it is very similar to rubber stamp rubber stamp you can permit something so in this case you can see the word permit permit is allow you allow something to happen you permit something to go ahead quite often in business if we allow something to happen we will green light something if you green light something it means you give permission you allow something to happen you give the green light you are saying you can go with that plan you can start it so you will finalize the preparations for something to begin you give someone the green light for example they have been given the green light to go ahead with the project so you can see there there is a great sentence they have been given the green light to go ahead with the project which means that they are allowed to do it they have been told that they can do it they have been given the green light to reach the conclusion of something often means that an agreement has been made so if you finalize something it means you have reached a conclusion the end of something to reach the conclusion of something often means that an agreement has been made the final part of a completed plan or business deal has been agreed on which means it has been finalized or approved you can do it you can go ahead there is nothing stopping you so quite often in business the final part of a completed plan or business deal that has been agreed on we can say that it has been finalized or approved and finally here is my last phrase before I finish you can dot the i's and cross the t's so when you finalize something maybe a contract maybe you are having negotiations you are talking about a certain thing and all you have to do now is write the contract you do the final things before something is complete so we can say that you dot the i's and you cross the t's you finalize everything so you will often hear this expression used in business a lot of people will say we need to dot the i's and cross the t's you are doing your final final preparation for something that is about to begin you are allowed to do it so i hope that's helpful again i like sometimes to talk about business english it is a big subject and sometimes these things can be interesting in fact i find sometimes you can actually use business english in everyday english so quite often you can use these phrases or words in everyday english for example i am nearly done and dusted with today's live stream i am nearly done and dusted which means i am coming towards the end so there are many ways of describing something that has been <laughs> yes rusen 
the last thing is like a sentence it is it is a sentence that is often used you might even call it a collocation a type of collocation something that is used with a certain form thank you Christina thank you also to top secret hello top secret nice to see you here as well something very strange has happened to my phone I don't know why but everything has just stopped working on my phone which is really difficult <laughs> come on what's going on I don't understand <laughs> why that isn't working very weird very strange let me just see if I can get my live chat back on my phone <laughs> this has never happened before so without this I can't actually oh, come on computer yesterday I was saying how much I love technology today the technology is starting to go wrong this morning my washing machine wouldn't work I couldn't get my washing machine to work and now my mobile phone is doing some strange things as well okay we are back that's good it's working now Whew. phew that was very close I got very worried there hello Dorota thanks a lot for the useful things Mr Duncan you are welcome don't forget you can watch this again later on there will be lots of lovely captions and subtitles so you can watch this as many times as you want you can watch this once or a million times it's entirely up to you I will be going in a few moments before I go if you've been following the news from the UK you will know that this week it was announced that there will be no tennis this summer the Wimbledon Championship has been cancelled so I thought instead maybe we could enjoy a little bit of tennis in my garden was we filmed that last year in the garden and that was mr. Steve and myself playing a little bit of tennis Ooh, very nice <laughs> I hope you enjoyed that because sadly there is no Wimbledon yet another sporting event has been cancelled because of you know what I mean you know what I mean thank you very much for your company today oh my goodness how I have missed your live videos you are such a cute teacher Ooh. <laughs> thank you very much it's been a long time since anyone has called me cute to be honest with you it's been a very long time thanks for your company it's been a nice day today I hope you've enjoyed it I know it's Friday we have the weekend to spend together which means I will be back with you tomorrow can you believe it I'm back with you tomorrow apparently this weekend the weather is going to be amazing so I might actually be in the garden tomorrow we will see what happens so I might take my phone outside 
and we will do the live stream in the garden we will see what happens i will be with you tomorrow 2 p.m uk time once more i will be with you tomorrow from two o'clock uk time <laughs> palmyra says the tennis contest will be in much wenlock between mr duncan and mr steve can i just say i don't play tennis i'm not i'm not a very sporty person to be honest i'm not I, i'm not a person who i would say is sporty to be honest hello rick san hello rick san are you sure you're not rick sanchez from rick and morty i wonder maybe rick sanchez is trying to invade my universe mm. by the way can i just tell you what i've started watching i've watched a few episodes of a great show called bojack horseman has anyone seen bojack horseman i love it i think it's very funny it's been a while since i've watched something that i've enjoyed so much it's always very strange when you start watching a tv show that you're not sure of sometimes you don't know if you will like it however bojack horseman if you haven't seen it i recommend that you watch it because it's very funny it made me laugh ha 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 like that it really did i'm going in a few moments thank you very much for all of your lovely company today wow so many people are still joining me to say hello <laughs> isn't that nice i am back with you tomorrow i will be in the garden tomorrow but in a moment i must go and get my washing because my washing is still in the washing machine it is still in the washing machine so i have to empty the washing machine so i can hang my washing on the line <laughs> oh look at that isn't that interesting so there is my washing machine going round and round some people might say that that's more interesting than my live stream i don't know <laughs> so i'm going now to put my washing out on the clothes line so it will dry out in this lovely sunshine thank you very much for your company i am going in a few moments yes i have netflix i use netflix although i don't watch much on it so i have netflix however there aren't many things that i actually watch i i normally spend most of my time just going around watching or flicking around netflix to see what is on there so i seem to spend more time looking at netflix to see what is there than i do actually watching things isn't it strange well, that's what i do anyway mirella stay happy and healthy bye everyone thank you very much for your company today i am going in a few moments i will see you tomorrow hopefully i will be in the garden i am hoping to be in the garden if i'm not i will be here once again in my little library <laughs> thank you lewis thank you eritrube thank you also guadalupe nice to see you here hossam hassan nice to see you as well edurly hello edurly de souza santos nice to see you here as well sergio i it just cannot be true i can't believe it really what can't you believe I wonder what Sergio can't believe. It would appear that something has made Sergio completely amazed. There is something that has made him really amazed. I don't know what. Jung Fan says, Bye, lovely teacher. Goodbye also to Jung Fam, wherever you are watching in the world. Your, your strings <laughs> Your strings are as interesting as your stream i see okay then <laughs> whatever that means anna pika bye mr duncan bye grace bye winnie goodbye winnie whitney winnie whitney and i will always love you i will always love you 
i will see you tomorrow thank you very much for your company thank you hiroko thank you tui vu watching in vietnam i think that's where you are bye to palmyra <laughs> i think i'm going to spend another hour just saying goodbye because there are so many people here today thank you very much don't forget stay safe stay happy and remember you are not alone during this time i am doing the same thing as you i am stuck here i am in the house so i'm trying to find things to do and one of the things i've decided to do is daily live streams so i will be back with you tomorrow hopefully i will be in the garden tomorrow i really do i hope i can be outside bye vitas bye omar goodbye sukat goodbye as well to anna see you tomorrow 2 p.m uk time this is mr duncan who is about to have a jaffa cake Ooh, would you like a jaffa cake you can have one if you want i will send it to you i will post a letter and inside there will be a very squashed and broken jaffa cake catch you tomorrow you know what's coming next veronica noemi suzika catch you later stay safe keep your distance from other human beings at all costs and of course until tomorrow 2 p.m uk time which will be a saturday by the way i'm with you tomorrow saturday oh, ooh, mr duncan you know what's coming next yes you do ta for now.